Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. In the spotlight I'm going to take a look at this block right here in front of me, the Terrain Smasher from Thermal Expansion. Now the Terrain Smasher is essentially Thermal Expansion's implementation of a block breaker. Now I've got one in my inventory right here and yeah I was looking for chests and uh, I'm going to take a look at the crafting recipe. All right, so the terrain smasher here requires you to have a piston in the center, then an invar pickaxe at the top, to the left and the right a tin ingot, and at the bottom a pneumatic servo, sorry. And this servo here is made using some gloss on the sides, can be any type of gloss. Then we have a piece of redstone in the center and some iron ingots at the bottom and the top of the recipe. All right. Furthermore, you have the Invar pickaxe, which is simply made using sticks and Invar ingots. Okay, so what the Terrain Smasher does, as I mentioned before, it is like a block breaker. All it does is break blocks. Now, I do believe if I stand in front of this that it will hurt me. Not entirely sure. Okay, no, apparently it doesn't. Um, I guess I misinterpreted the uh, the inscription then. I didn't uh, test that before, but yeah, it says keep keep the face away. Uh, yeah, whatever. I misinterpreted that. It appears to be more of a joke than anything else, but yeah. So uh, this is clearly the front face of the device and everything in front of this, it will break pick up and eject through an out facing port. Now uh, to quickly demonstrate how this works, I place uh, a new terrain smasher there and uh, it discards it by tossing it into the chest there. So it works, it works pretty fast as you can see. All right, there we go. And yeah, so that's basically it. It's a fairly simple device. Now I do have to add Let's uh, place another one right here. That like any of the uh, thermal expansion machines, the Terrain Smasher has the redstone control, which is a very convenient way of controlling the operation of the Terrain Smasher. So the first one is ignored. That means that it will just work constantly. Then we have the low setting. That means it will work when it is not receiving a redstone signal. Finally, we have the high setting, which means it will work only when it is receiving a redstone signal. So as you can see, it's not receiving a redstone signal right now, and it is simply not doing anything. All right, so if we switch this to ignored or low, it will start working again. All right, so that's redstone control. Then we have the configuration. Now, if we look at the back here, over here, you can turn that off. There's nothing on the back. Over here there is. Now what this does, essentially the configuration allows you to specify where the output of the device goes. So it will cycle through them, I believe, when you have multiple outputs. But this is the top of the block, for example. That's where it is here because the chest is on top. That means it will send items out through the top. Of course, you can also have them on the sides. That would be the right side and the left side. There we go. Then we have the bottom and this would be the rear. All right. So you can basically just select whichever output face you want for the device to output through. So those are some very convenient features for the thermal expansion machines, which we can also find in the terrain smasher. So that's basically it for this block. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.